Welcome back to another episode of the Fog Dog Exclusive. I hope everyone has been enjoying the videos recently on the channel. A bit of a different video today, inspired by Tim Man Elite member Reed Fisher, who is actually Drake University alumni. He is a bulldog. Today, I'm going to be taking you through my running shoe rotation. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you all of the shoes that I run in for long runs, easy runs, workouts, races, and I'm going to be starting off with the shoes I'm wearing right now. Hang on, Fog Dog. Aren't you going to be unboxing these today? Great point, Fog Dog Senior. At the end of this video, I will be unboxing these, and rumor has it there are two brand new pairs of shoes in this box. So stick around to the end, and at the end of the video, I will be unboxing these brand new shoes. So the first pair of shoes I'm going to be talking about in my rotation are the Adidas Solar Boosts. So this is a shoe I've had for quite a long time now. Uh, I've done quite a lot of mileage in these now. They're getting quite worn out. I've done close to 1000k in these, which is just over 600 miles of running, but a really great shoe. So I ordered these a few months ago now. I actually ordered them in a video you might have seen on the channel probably back in about April, uh, when I first kind of came home to Australia. And I thought I might kind of have to stock up on shoes in case we got put into lockdown and I was stuck on the treadmill for, you know, potentially months on end. Uh, fortunately, so far, that hasn't ended up happening. Fingers crossed we can kind of keep doing well and I can keep running outside, but who knows. I've actually got some new shoes that I will be unboxing at the end of this video, as I have mentioned. Uh, but yeah, this is a really great shoe. So pretty much I use this all for easy running. I've never done a workout in these. I will have done strides in them. So I pretty much use this as an easy jogging shoe. Sometimes I'll use it for my midweek long run shoe and I have done long runs in them, but the Solar Boost, yeah, pretty much my double runs and short easy runs, as well as some warm ups and warm downs for my workouts. I will use. Overall, this is just a neutral training shoe. Uh, so in terms of support, it doesn't really have too much support through the arches. Uh, I am quite a neutral runner, so that is fine for me. Uh, some people do need a bit more support under the arches though. So if that is you, I believe the Solar Boost does come in a more stable version where pretty much through the arch of the shoe, uh, they just have a bit more support. So that is the first shoe in my rotation, the Adidas Solar Boost, pretty much, as I mentioned, easy running, jogging, some warm ups and warm downs and strides as well. The next shoe in my rotation is the Adidas Solar Drive. And these I have had five pairs of now. So again, I absolutely love this shoe. This again, fairly similar to the Solar Boost, a neutral training shoe from Adidas. Uh, in terms of cushioning, they're probably not quite as cushioned as the Solar Boost that I was talking about before, but again, a great shoe. And similarly to the Solar Boost, I use this for easy jogging, uh, and I do actually do quite a lot of my long runs in this as well. I find this a great shoe for doing my long runs in because as I mentioned in a video a couple of months ago now where I talked about kind of planning out summer training, uh, I do actually quite like to get rolling a bit during longer runs. Uh, not necessarily all of my easy runs. I think it's really good to take it very easy on easy days uh, so that you can kind of freshen up and recover for your workout days and your longer runs. But for midweek long runs and long runs as well, Sunday long runs, uh, I definitely sometimes do like to get moving and the Adidas Solar Drive is a great shoe for that. Pretty much because it's so well cushioned uh, and reasonably lightweight as well. So where the Solar Boost is a bit more cushioned, I think it's slightly heavier. Uh, I don't know the full specifics, but just kind of going off feel, uh, the Solar Boost definitely feels a bit more weighty than the Solar Drive. And so for kind of picking up the pace a bit in a long run, the Solar Drive is a great shoe. This shoe 
this exact pair, I think I've probably done about 700K or 450 miles in and I don't know if you can see that there but they're starting to get quite worn out at the toes um, just because I have done so much mileage in them but yeah overall a great shoe as I've said I've had five pairs of these now and I absolutely love them if I could get my hands on another pair I definitely would but at the moment I think they're all out of stock so I'll be checking on the Adidas website trying to get another pair as soon as I can. All right, the next pair of shoes in my rotation, we are moving on to the Adidas Boston, which you've probably seen in quite a lot of my videos. Uh, this is my only pair of Bostons. I'm not 100% sure of how much mileage I've done in them, but I think it's close to 300 kilometers, uh, which is kind of approaching 200 miles. And that mileage has purely been done in workouts and possibly a few strides at the end of easy runs as well, but usually just my workout shoe. So this shoe is a really good lightweight racing flat from Adidas. Uh, they're a lot more minimalistic than the Solar Drive or the Solar Boost. And so if you're running a reasonable amount of mileage, you definitely wouldn't want to be doing all of your easy jogging in the Adidas Boston uh, because, you know, you can become kind of prone to injuries and stuff if you're running in a shoe that is too kind of minimal all the time. So for me personally, as I've said, I like to do all my easy jogging and long running in the Solar Boost or the Solar Drive. But then for me, the Adidas Boston is perfect for doing my workouts and I've done loads of workouts in this. My favorite being pretty much like long threshold runs that you've probably seen on the channel. So I ran a 1456 5K uh, in a workout in this exact pair of shoes and yeah, I absolutely love them. So again, if you can get your hands on a pair of Adi Zero Bostons, uh, highly recommended. The next shoes in my rotation are the next percent. So uh, yeah, obviously three Adidas shoes that I've talked about so far and I think it'd be rude not to kind of bring up the next percent. This shoe, pretty much anyone who's run in a pair of next percents will agree that they are unbelievable for running on the road. Uh, I also ran in this pair of shoes when I ran my 1405 5K on the track. And as a disclaimer, that 1405 5K on the track was run the week before the rules came out about having to have a sole of the shoe under 25 millimeters. So my 1405 5K on the track in next percent was fully legal, but obviously now that they've kind of introduced these new rules about not being allowed to have more than 25 mil in the sole of your shoes on the track would mean that you can't now run on the track in these. But yeah, this is an unbelievable shoe. I haven't actually done too much mileage in them. I've done, I think, one or two sessions and then the 5K that I ran in Sydney on the track and probably a few strides as well, just kind of breaking the shoes in to get a bit of a feel for them. But they are still quite fresh. I would say all up, I've probably done about 30 kilometers, maybe 20 miles in this pair of shoes. Uh, so hopefully they've still got quite a bit of life in them because the next percent I do absolutely love. In saying that though, I do know that they don't kind of last all that long just because they're so lightweight. Um, so durability on these is not great from what I've heard. I mean, mine are doing well so far, but as I've said, I haven't run in them much. And so with that in mind, I never really now use them for sessions. I did at the start for one or two sessions just to kind of break them in a bit more. Um, but. I will never touch these unless I'm going to be doing a time trial or a race or yeah, something of that order. The next pair of shoes in my rotation, uh, not really in my rotation because they're a pair of spikes so I don't really you know, do any easy jogging or anything like that in spikes obviously, uh, but this is the Adidas Avanti spike uh, and I absolutely love these spikes. So prior to going to America in August 2019, I went over to England and did a few track races, which is actually where I ran my 1500 PB of 340. And before I went to England, I knew that I was going to be coming to America and going to Drake University, which is a school that is sponsored by Adidas. And before that, I'd always kind of run in Nike spikes or Ciccone spikes. Uh, and I did like them, but I kind of thought when I was going to England, I'm going to order a pair of Adidas spikes 
and kind of get a feel for them is going to be what I'm running in in America. Uh, and so I wanted to order them and kind of get used to them before moving to America. So with that, I ordered a pair of Adidas Spikes, being the Adidas Avanti. Uh, this is the exact pair I ordered. This is my first pair of Avantis and they arrived just before I went to England and then I went over to England and ran an 800 PB and a 1500 PB in this pair of spikes. I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to think of them because I'd never run in Adidas spikes before uh, but as soon as I did a run through in them in England and I started doing some sessions in them kind of trying to get quick and ready for you know racing 800s and 1500s I knew straight away that this was a great pair of shoes uh, and so, yeah, the Adidas Avanti I really like. More recently, I haven't been running in these too much. I did actually wear them for the workout I did on the track that was in last week's video on the channel. But in America for indoor season in kind of early 2020, early this year, I ran in a different pair of spikes that you'll be seeing next. Speaking of different spikes, here they are, the Adidas Ambition. So for people who have been following along on the channel kind of from the start, uh, you might recognize these spikes. I've worn them for probably a couple of workouts and also quite a few races on the channel. Uh, these are the shoes that I wore during indoor season in America. Uh, and so I ran my four minute flat mile in this pair of shoes and they are great. In comparison to the Avanti that I was talking about before, the Ambition is definitely a bit more lightweight and responsive. Uh, so with that, the Ambition is probably gonna be better for shorter track races. So you could wear this for an 800, a 1500, probably a 3K, uh, but you might not wanna run a 5K on the track in the Ambition, uh, where the Avanti with a bit of extra cushioning and it does actually have the Adidas Boost kind of foam in the Avanti as well. They could be worn for a 5K, maybe even a 10K on the track as well. So as I've said, the Ambition, a great spike, pretty lightweight and responsive for going fast on the track during workouts and in races as well. All right, thank you so much to everyone who stuck around to this part of the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the shoes that I do all of my running in and maybe you even found some shoes that you might wanna try out for yourself. As promised earlier in the video, right now I'm gonna be unboxing two new pairs of shoes. All right, so this box of shoes arrived last week now and I've been waiting to open them for a video, so I thought my shoe rotation video was pretty much the perfect time to open them. So the box is still completely shut right now, uh, still in completely good condition that it was delivered in. And so I'm gonna be opening them right now and giving you the first look. Here we have it. Two Adidas boxes, completely fresh, completely new. Uh, shout out to my boy, Kev Kelly, uh, who went to Drake with me. Uh, he now runs for Team Boston Athletic Association. Uh, you might have heard of Team BAA, they're sponsored by Adidas. Uh, so he's out there living in Boston, but he is a Drake Bulldog as well. He pretty much convinced me to get these shoes. And so right now, I'm gonna be opening two brand new pairs of Adidas Supernovas. This is the first pair. Wow, that is pretty bright, uh, but a great color. Uh, why not have something a bit bright? I don't really have any shoes that are too bright right now. Uh, so that's kind of like, well, you can see it on camera. It's red, pinky red, even kind of orangey with black. Adidas stripe. So this, according to Kev Kelly, is an unbelievable shoe. I actually spoke to Jordan Gussman as well, the goose, uh, and he reckons the Supernova is another great pair of shoes as well. So I'm really looking forward to trying these shoes out. I did actually get two pairs of them. The other pair is in a different color, still in their box. I'll open those in a second. But I did actually get two pairs of them just because my solar drives and solar boosts that I do pretty much all of my easy running in, as I was talking about, are all now completely, nearly completely worn out. 
and so I wanted to make sure that I could kind of add the supernovas into my easy running shoe, probably long running shoe as well, uh, rotation, so that I had, you know, a couple of pairs ready to go, uh, instead of just adding the one pair in when I'm running quite a lot of mileage at the moment. I wanted to kind of be able to swap them around and get the most life out of them. So that is the first color, and now I will open the second color, which is a bit more plain and simple, but still quite cool. Uh, so that is the second pair, kind of completely black with a bit of a greeny yellow kind of strip at the back uh, and underneath as well. So that is it. The Supernova, exact same pair of shoes, same size, obviously. But yeah, my second pair of Supernovas. I've never run in the Supernovas before. I hadn't really heard of them until uh, I kind of spoke to Kev Kelly and he, he really likes them out uh, in Boston. And then speaking to Jordan Gusman as well, both really big fans of the Supernova. And so, yeah, fingers crossed, this is gonna be one of my kind of new favorite shoes. And it won't necessarily replace the Solar Boost or the Solar Drive, but it will definitely kind of, assuming I like it, be on an even keel with them, and it will be added straight into my easy running shoe rotation. All right, so with that, that completes this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed, as I was saying, seeing all of my running shoes that I run in. And in future, if I get new running shoes, if I try different brands, I'll definitely be sure to make more videos like this. And as well, I could do some shoe review videos in the future as well with things like the Supernovas, uh, depending on kind of how they go. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Next week on the Fog Dog Exclusive. Welcome back to another episode of the Fog Dog Exclusive. I'm doing a track workout tomorrow. And so I'm gonna show you today what I do in order to prepare for a track session. Also, you may have seen in last week's video, I unboxed two brand new pairs of Adidas Supernovas. And in today's video, after I talk about kind of how I prepare for a workout, I'll be having my first run in my brand new pair of Adidas Supernovas. And I will be giving you my first thoughts on my new shoes. <laughs> Fog Dog is back to take you through what he does the day before a running workout. And also, he tries on his new Adidas Supernovas. And at the end of the video, gives you his first thoughts on his new shoes. See all of this and more next Thursday, September 10th, 7pm Central Time. Only on the Fog Dog Exclusive.